Well, welcome again to one of my podcasts, and uh, I have to say today is kind of a, it's kind of a sad podcast, and I've entitled it The Deepest Places, and sometimes we have uh, difficulties in our life, we go through times of real great sorrow, and uh we sometimes don't know how to deal with it. Well, today we're going to look at the the real depth of these places that we can fall into. And you know, when I think about the Psalms, uh, and David wrote many of them, uh, he, we, can, we can really see into David's heart sometimes in some of these Psalms. And it's just more than that. Uh, but I, I'm going to, before I share the scripture today, I'm going to uh, just share a little story. And I'm going to read it uh, because it was uh, this fellow, Victor Hugo, who was born in 1802. He lived to 1885. He was a poet and a novelist. Uh, and during his uh, uh, social and political um, Evils of the 19th century France is perhaps best known for his classical Les Miserables. Over the centuries later, a music, musical adapted uh, from his novel had become one of our generation's most popular productions. Uh, this shouldn't surprise us, though. As Hugo once said, and this is, I want you to listen to this, Music expresses that which cannot be said and on which it is impossible to be silent. Let me read that again. Music expresses that which we can that which cannot be said and on which it is impossible to be silent. So music really reaches down to the depths of our souls. The psalmist would have agreed their songs and prayers provide us with an honest reflection on life in its invincible pain. You know, it, they touch us in places that we find difficult to access. For example, in Psalm 6-6, David cries out, I am wore out from my groaning all night long. I flood my bed with tears, and weeping, and drench my couch with tears. Well, the fact is, such raw honesty is included in the inspired songs of Scripture, giving us great encouragement. It invites us to bring our fears to God, who welcomes us into His presence for comfort and help. He embraces us in our heartful honesty. I'm going to read Psalm 6, and I'm reading it from the New International Version here. It says, Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your wrath. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I faint. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are in agony. My soul is in deep anguish. How long, Lord, how long? Turn, Lord, and deliver me. Save me because of, my, uh, because of your unfailing love. Among the dead, no one proclaims your name who praises you from the grave. I am wore out from my groaning all night long. I flood my bed with weeping and drench my couch with tears. My eyes grow weak with sorrow. They fail because of all my foes. Away from me, all you who do evil. For the Lord has heard my weeping. The Lord has heard my cries for mercy. The Lord's accept my prayers. All my enemies will be overwhelmed with shame and anguish. They will turn back and suddenly be put to shame. Wow. 
you know, music and the Psalms can be, can give us the ability to express our feelings when words are hard to come by. But whether they express, the expression is sung, prayed, or silently cried out to God, reaching into the deepest place in our hearts and give us peace. Now you can see why I named this podcast The Deepest Places. So if you're in a deep place and you need to cry out to God, just remember, just like the psalmist knew that God would hear him uh, and avenge his foes or whatever be your problem. And you know, a lot of times we go through sorrows in life but we can go to those deep places because God is even there. He's everywhere. He's in all our troubles and all our joys in all parts of our life. All you have to do is cry out to him, and he's right there next to you. And he tells us to cast all our burdens on him, and he'll carry them. So that's your thought for today, and... uh Just remember that if you're going through a time of trouble, God is there for you. So with that said, have a great day, and uh, I hope you enjoy these podcasts. Bye for now.